what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today is super bowl sunday so i will be doing um um let me apologize for you know i did put out a community tab post um that this was going to be up friday or saturday but unfortunately i did, still didn't get a chance to do it i did not update the post at all i just said i'm just going to do it on sunday um, early so you guys could get it in the evening um, you know it's Super Bowl Sunday so I'm trying to get this done so that I can go hang out with some friends you know have a couple beers whatever um, you know and watch the game even though either team is not my team or whatever but it's just what people do on Super Bowl Sundays um, so what's happening Stain is defeated scared the living crap out of everybody at the end and he was unconscious um but he had a, a a moral thing about him which you know not he's not he's still a villain he killed heroes you know he killed them because he doesn't feel like they live up to the standard of being a hero so his cause is very conflicted but at the same time it meant something um to him you know, it meant something to him, whether or not you want to understand things from his perspective, you know, um, it's a moral dilemma. It's a moral dilemma because um, it doesn't mean that you can't give people the chance to change. That's where he went wrong. You got to give people chance to change. I agree that nobody should be a hero if they're only thinking about themselves, revenge, all of this other stuff. You should not be a hero for those reasons. Um, I totally agree with him with that, but you also got to um, put into perspective the, the situation of the human being, the human mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that if somebody who's going to change later, you don't know. But if you don't give them the chance to do so, how can you really expect them to do so? Everybody can't just go and be the best a hero. Everybody, it can't be all might. I don't expect everybody to be all might. People are going to have their selfish reasons for being a hero, but they're out here catching bad guys nonetheless, you know, um, so I totally, um, I totally don't agree with everything that he does, but I do agree with him that nobody should be doing, you shouldn't be a hero for selfish reasons. It just doesn't work. You get what I'm saying? So I'm glad that he acknowledged certain people, didn't acknowledge certain people. He also endeavor. Um, Endeavor is the, is the type of character. I can totally understand why you would say that Endeavor is a fake also. Totally get it. Because even though he might have, you know, flashy moves and stuff like that, I already told you guys that he's my favorite character design in the show. Still, still my favorite character design in the show over All Might. Um, so it's kind of like, it's not necessarily that I agree with everything that he does. You get what I'm saying? Because he's a shitty dad. He's a shitty person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His personality is really shitty. And that's just not, that's just what it is. His, per, his, just, his character growth, everything that I've seen about him so far, he's just a really shitty personal, <laughs> personality. He just has a really shitty personality, man. And I, he's real smug. You get what I'm saying? And I can see why he never became number one. As long as All Might is around, ch happy, cheery guy, saves people, does what he has to do. You get what I'm saying? And in, e even All Might is big enough to, um, even him is, is big enough to, um, to acknowledge when he's wrong about something, you know, in earlier episodes when um when Deku jumped in to save to save um Bakugo, right? He he did acknowledge that. He was like, you Deku has reminded me that this is what it's all about. You jumped in without you know what I'm saying, no hesitation. It doesn't matter if you have powers or not, and that's where it is. That's where it is, baby. That's where it is. So um when it comes on to um, I, I did see that 
Endeavor had a, you know, it was kind of surprising to me that he actually listened to what Todoroki said. Um, I was telling him that if there's any heroes you come across that ain't doing shit, send them over to the alley. You know what I'm saying? Any pro heroes that you see, you know, send them over to the alley because it didn't even tell him what the reason is, but he actually did it, which is like he, in that way, I guess when he's in the field, he's different. I don't know, but we'll see how they develop his character going on later as i said i'm looking forward to that but anyways let's jump into these episodes today we're going to be doing three episodes so um as soon as they're up as soon as they're ready bitch shoot might not be ready um tonight because i tell you they have been not processing my videos at a in a timely manner of late i don't know if they fix that or whatever the situation is but we'll see going forward anyway thank you guys for tuning in i will see you guys for the review All right, so we watched three episodes, 31, 32, and 33, and man, we learned a lot. So we're going to kind of talk about what happened there in episode 33 because it's it's mind-blowing and it changes a lot about the story going forward. Of course, it seems like um, All Might is going to die soon. Um. But he doesn't want to tell, um, he doesn't want to tell Deku that he'll probably die soon, which is would it would, it's not a good time to tell Deku this. Um, it's really not, it's really not. But I, but now that we've got that out the way, it's really not a good time. It's a good decision that he decided not to tell Deku this because I don't think Deku would have handled it in an awesome way, <laughs> you know, so, um, I want to talk about this new information about, um, all for one, all for one created one for all. The, the, this situation is, it's, it's a little bit weird and it, it's, it's growing on me when it comes on to this this new character now because this new character basically is the ultimate dude he's that dude now he's the ultimate villain so i like the fact that you know what i'm saying they introduce this character like i like the fact that they introduce this character because now we have a basically an ultimate goal for deku other than the fact that he wants to become the number one hero because the story of the story is about him becoming the greatest hero, hero mankind has ever known, right? So for him, it, it, now he has even a greater purpose because he has to defeat this guy because this guy is the ultimate villain. It's kind of like everybody was developing quirks. He was just stealing people's quirk, quirks. Um, saw his younger brother was quirkless, um, but his, but his, his younger brother was different, right? His younger brother was different from him, as in having a sense of peace and justice and all of this other stuff. So um, he decided to give his brother a perk, but he but he had there was there was something dormant, right, about his younger brother that kind of mixed with what he gave his brother that created um, one for all. So he could be able to pass it down to generations to generation. Um, so I want to go back a little bit here because to the explanation, um, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to, I don't want to mess this up. You know, right? He can cr create, he, when he gives quirks, so he, for, he forced the quirk that could stock power onto his younger brother. So basically, basically what he did was gave him a perk that could that could um, basically essentially, um, as you add stuff to it, as in what has been going on, like one for all gets stronger, um, you know, as it gets passed on through these, I think it's nine people right 
So one for all has been getting stronger and stronger and stronger because it's a quirk that stocks power, right? So he gave him that. You know, I don't know if it's out of kindness. You know. Yeah, he was taught to be quirkless, but there was something inside him. Something that neither he himself nor those around him noticed. He had a useless quirk that could pass on quirk. So so his brother, I may have said it wrong before, but now I, I completely understand now. Now that I'm taking a look at it of what he's trying to say. Um, so he basically gave him a quirk that could stock power, which is in... Um, in, in, in all essence, that would be one for all, right? But he already had a quirk that was considered a useless quirk because basically if you don't have a quirk, how can you pass on quirk? You get what I'm saying? Like, so I understand why they're calling it a useless quirk because he can actually pass on quirks, but it was dormant. You get what I'm saying? He was considered quirkless. You get what I'm saying? So it's basically it was useless because you don't have if you don't have a quirk, how can you pass on quirks? You get what I'm saying? It's not as if you can basically take take from someone and give it to somebody else. So when his brother gave him a quirk, that now he can pass that on. And as he passes it on, it gets more powerful, right? So that's what I'm understanding from that. You guys can always go in the comment section and explain it better if you can. Um, if I'm not doing a good job, but I totally get where they're coming from with the, from story wise and not what they're trying to build. You get what I'm saying? So basically one for all, it can, st it can stock power up and power as it's being passed on. And also, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess it can get stronger depending on who it's with. So it's just crazy. And it kind of it's it's kind of in a certain way kind of limitless if you want to look at it like that it's kind of like um, if you want to compare it to like Nen and stuff like that from Hunter Hunter because it's kind of limitless in certain aspects of what you can possibly build up to because imagine somebody who are, who already has a quirk um, obtaining one um obtaining one for all which is probably something that might happen later down the line who knows you know what i'm saying i know this is a story of deku and it seems like for the most part that everybody that has had it before were never had a quirk i don't know that the complete history of one for all so we don't know maybe there was somebody who had a quirk before they obtained one for all so we don't know exactly if everyone that had it was quirkless and never had a quirk we know that um we know all might was quirkless and we know deku was quirkless we don't know if um all might's um predecessor we don't know if um she because we do know it's a she it's a woman because they they show her image um they've shown her image before so i don't know if if she had um if if she had a quirk before she had before they she obtained all um i mean one for all so it's just so interesting now because now you have this character that you know is the ultimate villain and all might might not get a chance because he's fought him before and he ended up with that hole in his side because of this dude toddy killed him but he survived and now he's basically trying to recuperate still I don't know how long ago he fought him, but if he's still on tubes, his face is all messed up, I might put in work on this dude. So, I don't know what's going to happen if he's going to show up um, soon or whatever the situation is. I don't know if he's going to show up soon um, or if he's going to come out or whatever because it looks like he's, you know, they have this regeneration ability or whatever. They were talking about him and this doctor if they're trying to obtain regeneration so he can come back faster or whatever the situation is. But he's grooming, <laughs> he's grooming Tamura 
to become his successor so because he said he's just like him so we'll see how that turns out man but otherwise the other two first episodes were basically kind of slice of life you know what i'm saying um you know showing the results of staying the hero killer and also getting that that small um internship with froppy so definitely loving the 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 the, the mood and what they're trying to portray in this anime, man. As you guys know, I really love this anime. I really do. And that is, I, I'm not even capping. Like, seriously, I really love this anime and where they're taking it. Hopefully, the story aspect of it doesn't disappear and we start getting just fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, people get lazy. You know what I'm saying? People get lazy <clears throat> on Dragon Ball. Anyway, <laughs> you know, so... In any case, man, thank you guys so much for um, for for ultimately supporting this channel and doing what you can. If you've watched this review, man, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We're about to hit 4,000 subscribers, man, and I'm happy for that. I really am truly happy that we're, we're here almost, you know, second month in 2020, and we're here. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all, and I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.